But before we start, let's meet our host. First up, a Philly born Italian. Rocky Balboa. singer, songwriter, and actress who is known for her abilities to captivate an audience in a single note. The one and only Taylor Swift. Welcome to the acoustic setting. And not to be outdone, our next diva is the reigning queen of Christmas. With five Grammys to her name, it's Mariah Carey. I didn't know you were going to be here. Oh, I didn't know you were going to be here. Well, What's your name here again? I am, Taylor Swift. Oh. <laughs> uh, and uh, who's your friend here? He's big and beefy. I like it. Hey, yo, Mick, I just want to let you know I'm going to be trying real hard for you tonight, okay? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. Rocky Balboa. <laughs> Uh, a lot of music on this end, some boxing on that end. Happy Halloween, everybody. Isn't this robe everybody. nice? Last year's robe was so baggy. Well, it's that, cute. I is like that it. Silk? It's it beautiful. Feels very it's nice. Beautiful, cute. I have something like that at home. <laughs> uh, okay, so as we say welcome to our Studio C, we want to uh, do our best to embody our characters. Yes. Some of us more than others. Hmm. And also show you around the studio. Uh, because we have transformed this into a Halloween party, mecca, scary place. So as you look around, guys, as you, this gate has been handcrafted and all of the skeletons came out in the middle of the night. All kinds of fog happening. All these giant spiders, I just... I mean, it's a beautiful set, don't get me wrong. Um, where is my camera? Because I do have a few, just maybe a few suggestions, something I would do. Well, where is my camera? Because I have some things Taylor, to do. Taylor, you are over You can have mine. <laughs> There's plenty of you. I just, I feel like we could just maybe spruce up the set a little bit, make it just a little more Christmas. It is, after all, time. <laughs> so, uh, it is Halloween, you know, Mariah. It's not Christmas yet. It's coming. And I know that you had that one song Ooh. that <laughs> made you super oh. popular. Yeah, Adrian really likes it. <laughs> <laughs> I always liked him. Uh, it's a girl. And her. <laughs> Both of That's his wife. <laughs> oh, never seen it. Uh, so never welcome seen Rocky. to... Uh, our show, so what went into picking these costumes, yes. you might ask? <laughs> um, Taylor Swift seemed like a good logical choice because, let's face it, you can't, you haven't seen her enough. 
We have been missing Taylor Swift. Been missing her. Now she is here. This hopefully is the end of her uh, reign in uh, television saturation because she has owned the market. But now that it's almost Christmas time, I'm hoping that perhaps another diva can take the spotlight. And she certainly is. Mm. Here she is, ready to kick off her her season. Oh, I can't wait to hit some of my notes. I wonder if you can do that. Mm. Oh. You mm. could use these to punch it. <laughs> Uh, and our Ryan as Rocky has been, yes. uh, I guess I don't need this to talk into, <laughs> has been very excited about embodying. Well, you. I don't know, look, 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 yeah. I don't know about excited. <laughs> uh, I don't know about excited. I just felt like I was going to go with something like the, where there's no mistake in who I am. It even says Rocky somewhere on here. I do have to say, I'm shirt. impressed with the accent. I am impressed with the way you have embodied Rocky, even walking down the hallway, doing that. I, yeah. I was hearing that down the hall. All that said, oh, he's getting ready, ready. Yo, Adrian, uh, I've been working on that. Um, what went into your costume, Rye? Did you, uh, you got even got the wrestling shoes? Well, boxing the, shoes? the boxing shoes. Yes, now, boxing, the boxing shoes. Yes. And these are, so I, I channeled my Rocky too. Yeah. Um, with the socks and the boots, the gloves. Now, in Rocky too, the only thing, he wears a yellow robe with a black stripe yes. but this is what they came up with so and then uh, he's got the white towel around him too in rocky 2 so i got the shorts the italian stallion and uh, ready to go is rocky 2 the best rocky is that your favorite i like rocky rocky 1 i think is the best one but rocky 2 okay. is uh hashtag the nine what do you guys think? what's the best rocky all right, now, as we gave you a tour of the studio, here's what we have on tap for today. We're nice. going to be preparing special food. Mm -hmm. We've got some special drinks to celebrate the season. Uh, and we're also going to talk a little lions. Lions, ba lions baby. Yeah, there you uh. go. <laughs> hey, yo. Uh, so, Rai, you were at the game last night. Yeah, look, it was incredible. Um, they turned the ball over three times, had a sure touchdown did. called back, sure missed did. a field goal, and still won by double digits. I mean, that was as dominating a performance as you can have. So they hit the break 6-2, and two, best record since 2014. The Lions are the number two seed in the NFC right now at the midway point. There's nine games left. They've got a bye now this week. They're going to get healthy. This is going to be a fun second half of the season. Last night was incredible. Incredible, and I hope they don't ask me to read the prompter at any point today because I cannot read it without my glasses. I'm wondering. But Rocky doesn't wear glasses. <laughs> uh, with you being a guy who loves his routine, mm -hmm. what was it like for you being out super late, having mm -hmm. to get up still early in the morning? We know you don't like to break the schedule. That is uh, the most accurate statement that will be said <laughs> on the air today. Yes. Um, it was, look, I don't stay up that late, but the game ended. We were in, here, here's a public service announcement for anybody that goes downtown. Yeah. The par I was in a parking garage for one hour without moving last night. E. One hour. That's yeah. awful. And they charged me 50 bucks. So, like 50 bucks, you feel like maybe easy in, easy out. <laughs> That's the hope, anyway. 50 bucks to park, didn't move, not even an inch in one hour. Not even an inch. Mm. That's, that's, I mean, so you were out then, what, until like one in the morning? Yeah, I got home at one. Oh my oh. gosh. I got home at one. Eesh. The parking garage situation after a big event has got to be the worst. Worst. I thought about you because then when they showed like aerial shots of the city, mm. it was gridlock traffic. Totally. And I'm like, Ryan Armani is stuck oh. in that. Totally. He's not getting home anytime soon. I figure though, he's he knows what he's doing. Yeah. He'll park on some random street totally off the rookie, path. Totally rookie move. Yeah. Totally a rookie you move. You went on the fifth floor Ter of a busy parking garage? Terrible decision. <laughs> I think I'm I'm not I'm more mad at myself yeah. <laughs> than I am at like anybody affiliated with the parking street. But what are the other options? If I mean if you, you parked park close, in some lot somewhere. You think a lot would have been better just because you can get Absolutely. out. Absolutely. All right. Parking wall. All right. Well, go Lions. It was an exciting game. Kept us up. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> In all our glory. Oh, we're trying.